first off, let's talk hormones. Yes, so what exactly are hormones? Well, these are known as the body's messengers. They are chemicals that travel through your bloodstream to organs and tissues. There is a system in our bodies called the endocrine system. The system is made up of glands and organs that are responsible for managing hormone levels in our bodies. Some commonly well-known glands and organs that are part of the endocrine system include pituitary gland, thyroid, pancreas, ovaries, and testes. There are actually over 35 unique hormones, many dealing with growth and development for ne necessary life functions. Some hormones that you might be familiar with are insulin, estrogen, testosterone, cortisol, and growth hormone. That's right! But how do these hormones work inside of our bodies? For this, let's go down to the endocrine factory. Here is where we can find our glands and organs. Their duty is to release hormones to various parts of our bodies when they receive the signal. Hormones are delivered by locking onto the cells they target and passing a specific message. The pituitary gland is the big boss of the endocrine factory. His responsibility is to regulate hormone levels by sensing when levels rise and telling other glands to stop producing and releasing hormones. Rarely can you affect just one hormone without having an impact on others since they work with each other as a team to bring balance to your body, just like in this factory. Nicely said, Mason. Now let's see what happens if there is an imbalance of these hormones. In general, there are very clear signs when your hormones are out of whack. For example, estrogen is a sex hormone responsible for the development and regulation of the female reproductive system and secondary sex characteristics. Some signs that estrogen may be in balance include fat storage, anxiety, disinterest in sex, and even depression. The main causes for hormonal imbalance include thyroid, pituitary, and other gland dysregulation resulting from many things such as stress, eating disorders, diabetes, weight, poor diet, disease, medications, infections, and many other things. But it is important to note that fat cells produce estrogen in both women and men. This explains why an overproduction of estrogen is commonly seen in obese individuals. So if your question is, does hormonal imbalance lead to cancer? Yes, it sure can. And this is because your cells are always dividing and multiplying. And if your body has a constant hormonal imbalance, it may tell several areas to produce excess amounts of hormones. Yep, this is what causes the cells to clump up together and start to mutate. This is what we know as the formation of tumors, when the reproduction of cells is mutating. And as we all know, some tumors may be cancerous. In conclusion, what can we do as individuals to stop this from happening? First off, eat healthy. We never realize how much food affects our bodies until something starts to go wrong. So let's prevent this. Make smart decisions with our meals. Also, try to maintain a normal weight by being physically active. Indulge in physical activities that are fun and exciting to you. And lastly, see a doctor if you have any warning signs that your hormones may be out of balance. Join us for our next video where we uncover the topic of chronic inflammation and how this too may lead to cancer.